Hi guys, welcome to Convergence, the premier IT show here in the Philippines. I'm Nikki, your IT girl. For this episode, we're here at the Cafe Resto Felicity. So join us as we share with you the latest product showcased at 2013 CES. So stick around and let's start. Now on Convergence, 4K TVs create a noise at CES. 4K TVs are ultra high definition TVs that companies say have four times the resolution of the 1080p HD TV format. The world's first flexible computer made of paper also unveiled at CES. The driverless or self drive car is also among the hot items at CES. In South Korea, internet addiction has become a major problem for teenagers, but thanks to horse riding therapy, the teens appear to be back in control of their lives. On the other hand, North Korea's internet access is limited to only those trusted by the government. Will the visit of Google Executive Chairman Eric Schmidt open opportunities to North Korea to have more access to the internet? In Poland, a voice-operated smartphone, CU, was unveiled designed for visually impaired individuals. Every step of commuters in Sao Paulo in Brazil is tinkling because of an installed musical staircase. And find out how this shoe opens the doors to new exercise applications and mobile dance games. The world's largest consumer technology trade show kicks off by giving consumers a look into the future of technology. Hundreds of suppliers, manufacturers, consumers all flew to Las Vegas to exhibit their latest products and services at the Consumer Electronics Show or CES. The sixth annual CES opened in Las Vegas with more than 3,000 companies from 150 countries and attended by more than 150,000 people. This annual event is used by the industry to showcase the upcoming products ranging from cell phones to giant televisions. This year, HD televisions that promise four times the picture resolution of current TVs are among the must-see items. TV makers Sony and Samsung are among the tech giants looking to set the pace for the Ultra HD or HD 4K market. 4K TVs are ultra-high definition TVs that companies say have four times the resolution of the 1080p HD TV format. Does it mean that the new 4K TVs will be pricey? 84 inch TVs are about twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars. Even the smaller 55 and 65 inch TVs we expect to be around five, seven thousand dollars. That's not going to make much of a dent in TV sales at those prices. TVs have evolved throughout the years, and recently makers have promoted everything from 3D to smart TV to OLED to try to excite consumers. This year it's 4K, but is there even any demand for 4K? One of the other problems with 4K UHD is that there is no content available, there's no 4K distribution system, you can't watch 4K on your television, there's no 4K Blu-ray standard, there's not even a standard to connect 4K devices to one another yet. So it's still really in its infancy. It's going to be another couple of years before those things all get ironed out, and I don't know how long it's going to be before you get an actual 4K channel on TV. Sony unveiling a $25,000 US dollar 4K TV that literally looks more vibrant and lifelike than real life itself. Sony should also make an impact with its new 5-inch smartphone, the Xperia Z, which comes equipped with a high-resolution camera and a powerfully updated core processor. South Korea's Samsung, meanwhile, continues to draw large crowds at the convention, offering a wide variety of charismatic products, including a 110-inch HD set. No price just yet. The tech giant is aiming to sell 55 million flat-screen TVs this year, up from 51 million last year. For those looking to play catch up, the television set maker is also offering an evolution kit that updates 2012 TVs with this year's smart technology. The digital health is also ready to break through this year. One company, Fitbug, describes itself as an online fitness and well-being coach that will design a customized exercise and diet plan based on real-time data. The market for digital health is really understanding the benefits that can come from using devices to track your own lifestyle. Another is Happy Fork, which is a device that will give you a gentle vibration if you're eating too fast. So the Happy Fork is a device that's been created to help you lose weight by eating at the right time, at the right pace. The ability to monitor yourself has also never been easier. Wearable device maker Fitbit allows users to track their physical fitness now on several different levels. A lot of our users say that by having a device with them all the time that gives them real-time feedback about how many steps they're doing at that moment really makes them make smart decisions about moving a little bit more. The driverless or self-drive car is also among the hot items at this year's show. Google, Toyota and Audi were on hand to present their technology that aims to take you out for the driver's seat. And ultimately, you know, we believe that there will be an, a, a driverless vehicle. But for now, being 
realistic about it, as an OEM should be, we're, we believe that driverless uh, or autonomous is not necessarily driverless yet. Connectivity continues to play a major role at CES, with electronic makers displaying the ability to connect everything in your home and car through your smartphone. ADT, a home security provider, is among those at the convention, promoting a totally seamless and real-time access to practically everything. So we, we built it on a fully open standard. So we have Wi-Fi and Zigbee, it's all wireless, and you can manage any appliance, you can manage any light, you can manage your thermostats, you can integrate into your entertainment systems like we're demonstrating here on Samsung. Small companies also debuted their latest electronics. Check this out. Rhode Island-based company Ion introduced a gadget that can convert old vinyl records to digital files. And you can DJ a set using several apps. You get real hands-on control so you can get really professional results. Tuck it in your bag, head to the next party. Amzer, a U.S.-based smartphone accessories company, displayed a new shatter-resistant screen protector. Traveled the world, actually rounded up some chemists and scientists that were in this area, and uh, together we collaborated to create Liquipel. A variety of high-tech products also debuted at the show, including the Gutter Clearing Robot, a ring that can control your computer's mouse, the Cube X Trio 3D printer, and a high-tech toy helicopter drone controlled by smartphones. The world's first thinnest computer made of paper was also released at CES. And according to Plastic Logic, the company that developed it, the paper thin computer represents the future of desktop computing. Well, what we're really trying to show is, is a desktop scenario where you have multiple displays on the desktop and you'll be able to transfer information between those displays using different interfaces um, and different uh, sensor technologies. Imagine a computer paper thin and flexible. The paper tab tablet looks and feels like a plastic sheet of paper. The tablet, though, is fully interactive and is powered by an Intel processor. If you look, take a look here, I have my email inbox in here and I want to be able to read my email while also want to keep an eye on my inbox for a new email. Uh, I can do that by simply taking this empty sheet of paper and uh, tapping it and picking up the email that I just got. Now I want to reply to this person by sending them a photo. First I just bend to reply, I pick up the photo that I have and I just tap it here and it gets attached. Now I just bend it and the email gets sent. It's as simple as that. Paper tabs can easily be tossed around on a desk while providing a magazine-like reading experience. And they are reusable. Software maker Microsoft was a no-show this year, joining Apple as non-participants. The event is still the world's largest, offering more than a glimpse into the future of technology today. The annual event is where the world's first VCR, the CD player, plasma TV, and computer tablet was introduced. Coming up in Mexico, the lower house of Congress voted in favor of an overwhelming margin of 423 to 0 to amend the country's telecom law, which mandates that the mobile phone calls shall be charged by seconds. Google executive chairman visits North Korea. Will his visit open opportunities to North Korea to have more access to the internet? And find out how teenagers in South Korea overcome internet addiction. These plus more when we come back.